Take a moment and listen to Warren Buffett. I think nuclear power uh, is an important part of the uh, world's equation, really, in, 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 in dealing uh, with its problems on uh, the mission. I mean, it's very long term because you're not going to change the installed base in any hurry. And as you know, did you catch that? It's very long term because you're not going to change the installed base in any hurry. It's very long term because you're not going to change the installed base in any hurry. Now, that was 11 years ago, in April 2011. Damn, that's a long time ago. Which means that maybe that very long term is about to happen. Let's have a look. in Ukraine is shaking the entire world. Sanctions are applied to Russia, which are also affecting the energy sector around the world. The Russian gas pipeline at Nord Stream blew up. Europe is buying less and less of Russian's gas and oil, and everyone is looking for an alternative. All of a sudden, oil is no longer sexy. For real this time. So what do we do? Well, enter nuclear power. Nuclear power is part of the energy future. It is safe, efficient, and has low emissions. The future is nuclear, and the new energy reality will be electric. With the help of nuclear power, we will be able to electrify the world, and eventually get rid of the oil and gas industry. This is not a pipe dream. This is the future. It sounds amazing, doesn't it? Well, the problem is that nuclear power is is very expensive. The cost of nuclear power plant construction has risen sharply in recent years, and the cost of operation and maintenance is also high. But hey, so is oil. And oil is not sexy any longer, remember? And this is where thorium comes in. It is important to understand the difference between uranium and thorium when considering development in nuclear energy. At the end of this video, we will look at three things. Uranium, nuclear stock, and thorium stock. Thus, this is not an exclusive thorium video. But I digress. Thorium is an alternative fuel for nuclear power plants. It is more abundant than uranium, which makes it even more interesting. How do thorium reactor work? Well, thorium can't split to make a nuclear chain reaction like uranium. In scientific term, it just isn't fizzle. However, it is bombarded by neutrons from an energy fuel that is fizzle, like uranium-235 or plutonium-239, it is converted into uranium-233. The process creates energy and is self-sustained after it begins. Fission of uranium-233 turns more thorium nearby into the same nuclear fuel. The problem is that thorium is not yet being used in nuclear power plants. The reason for this is that thorium's fuel cycle is just not yet developed. And thus, the first step is to develop the thorium fuel cycle. This will require research and development as well as investment. And you can be that investor. But first things first. There's different ways of investing directly in uranium. Now, of course, for, for obvious reasons, you can't just go on the market and buy a box of uranium to store under your bed, because even if you succeed of buying it and storing it under your beds, the feds will probably kick in your door pretty fast and take you away for a very long time. And uh, even if you manage to keep the feds away from your door, um, you're still going to die of radiation poisoning um, if you have that stuff under your bed. So not a good idea. Um, obviously, you need some kind of investing vessel for this. And such a vessel uh, could be an investment fund for you to use. Um, if you've been fund following my channel, then you should know that I myself invest in uranium using the Sprott Physical Uranium Trust. And uh, what this trust, trust does is that it invests and holds substantially all of its assets in uranium in the form of uh, triuranium octoside, um, and it is, is it is a compound of uranium. Um, it is present as an olive green to black odorless solid, 
uh, and is one of the most pop popular forms of yellow cake and is shipped between mills and refineries in this form. So um, it's um, it's a good trust um, and I use it a lot. Uh, let's let's have a look at the chart for uh, for this trust. What you see in front of you is actually my position. I have been in Uranium since, well, there you go, since the beginning of August. And I do follow this, um, I follow this chart weekly. So I do a weekly updates on Uranium and we are in for a very long run in this one. I'm just gonna zoom out to show you my first targets for Uranium. As you can see, we are in a nice uptrend. We have switched the clouds to a more supportive type of Ichimoku clouds. We did our tracements and this this looks beautiful as of, as of now. And uh, our first target is actually $20. $20. Um, so this is good. This is a good way for you to, if you don't wanna do stocks and you don't wanna do anything else, but owning just a, at least on paper, uranium, then there you go, use a trust. And if you want to follow, follow along with me, then just follow the channel. And we are using the Sprouts Physical Uranium Trust. All right, let's move on. Next up is something big or rather small. And a caution, this one is risky. So what is I'm talking about? Well, SMRs, of course. And instantly you ask SMR, what is an SMR? SMR stands for Small Modular Reactor. Um, and they are basically advanced reactors that can produce 300 megawatts or less of electricity. And of course, instantly you ask again, 300 megawatts or less, what? How much is that in the real world? Well, let's think about a normal, typical nuclear reactor. It produces one gigawatt of electricity, which is um, 1,000 of megawatts. So three times, basically. All right, so why am I so giddy about the SMRs? Well, they utilize components that can be factory built. This will minimize costs, improve quality, and it will reduce construction time massively. SMR technology is smaller and simpler resulting in lower costs and a shorter nuclear construction period of less than 36 months from the first safety concrete. I mean, that is insane. That is insanely fast. And of course, this brings SMR technology online sooner uh, compared to a typical reactor uh, with the very first module generating power and revenue while additional modules are being planned for or installed. Now that, that is the future we are looking at. Your own personal personal nuclear reactor in your backyard. Well, or at least the begin beginning of this idea. Um, well, all right, I see you yelling, sold, 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 where do I buy this? Um, it's uh, just, 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 you watch. You have come to the right place, young Padawan. I will show you the way of nuclear power. Let's have a look at New Scale Power Corporation. It is the industry leading provider of advanced nuclear small modular reactor technology. And a full disclaimer is in place here. I am invested in New Scale. Uh, for how long will I be holding? Well, I don't know. Um, probably at least 2030. So now you know. Let's get back to the SMR. Each new scale power module is capable of generating 77 megawatts electric of electricity and can serve as a reliable carbon free source of base load power that complements uh, renewable sources such as wind, solar and hydropower generation. Um, but instantly I hear you ask, well, here we go with the numbers again. How much is 77 megawatts electric? Um, see this little puppy? The average capacity of utility scale wind turbine installed in 2021 was only 3 megawatts. And that is up about 9% from the previous year. I mean, yay, hooray, 9% improvement. I mean, come on, 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 
th that that is just sad. That's compared to compared to this, one SMR can replace 25 of these mills, and the SMR is much smaller. Um, so, yeah, you do the math. Probably you you see where I'm going with this, right? Anyway. In 2020, New Scale became the first and only SMR to receive standard design approval from the United States Nuclear Regulatory Commission. The, the advanced uh, design eliminates the need for two-thirds of the safety system and components found in today's large commercial reactors, which significantly improves the economics of New Scale plants compared to traditional nuclear power plants. That is great. That is just great news. And uh, this is the time for you to pause on this wild idea. Sit back, reap the profits in, well, five, ten years, maybe. I mean, it's hard to say. This is new te technology, so we'll just have to see. And I will be frank with you. This one is this one is risky. But hey, so is crypto, right? Um, anyway. Oh, by the way, you want to touch one of those SMRs? The first commercial six-module SMR power plant is planned to be built on a site at Idaho National Laboratory, and it will be owned by the Utah Associated Municipal Power Systems. So you will have your own, um, if you if you can climb the fences, of course, uh, your own opportunity to to look at this reactor. Uh, let me just show you here on screen. I mean, look at this thing. Uh, and also, I will be providing a link in the description for this entire video, so you can so you can have a look. Anyway, that's it. We've talked about uranium, nuclear power stock, and finally, it's time for thorium. If you think investing in uranium is risky and SMR sounds like new age babble, well. Then you're just going to love thorium. One of the biggest issues with uh, nuclear plants uh, is the meltdowns uh, that can occur if the uranium is not cooled properly. I mean, just think back to Japan in 2011, uh, the earthquake and the tsunami that caused a series of meltdowns at the um, Fukushima plant. Uh, the fact that uh, the only other disaster of that caliber was uh, the Chernobyl disaster um, has done little to ease the minds of world governments and uh, energy companies. This simply highlighted the tragedy that uh, that came along with it. And um, but but this is slowly changing because um, thinking of the war with uh, with Ukraine and uh, Russian energy sector basically collapsing, uh, more and more are looking at nuclear. Um, so this is this is the time for nuclear. Um, this is why thorium properties uh, have become so coveted. I mean, it it, it is virtually meltdown proof. Um, and if this if the material that is used in nuclear power is uh, more or less meltdown proof, then the clean energy possibilities would be endless. I mean, there's but. There is one only one problem. I mean, it's the thorium is unable to to sustain a nuclear reaction on its own. Um, thorium's inability to sustain the nuclear chain reaction causes this problem. Um, but it is not one without solution. I mean, just give humanity a little bit more time, and they will probably solve this. Um, and as thorium reactors testing continues uh, in Norway and India, and also uh, Bill Gates is um, is investing in it, um, whose company's TerraPower has begun testing thorium reactors. Uh, when they get involved, attention to the metal will grow, and it will grow rapidly. Um, so, how do we profit from this? Well. It's not as easy, simply because it's so new, uh, but there is several uranium miners like um, Cameco Corporation or Corp and the Unity Energy Corp. 
they are mining uranium in areas that is that has also have a concentration of thorium um, though neither of the companies has uh, reported on significant mining of thorium both but both are well positioned to profit should the demand of the metal skyrocket so um, if you want to be jacked to the tits early adapter this is your play um, you just have to sit on it for like 10, 20 years, I don't know how long this will take, this is a very long, very long uh, hold. Um, anyway, there you have it. A long uranium, um, even longer SMR and an extremely uh, long play with the thorium for you to, to dabble in. Thanks for watching, cheers!